Every year, a new Revit comes out, and every year, Revit users sarcastically announce that maybe this will be the year that the text tool gets an update. Well, guess what? Something's happened. After topping users' wish lists for who knows how many years, the Revit text tool has finally gotten some great updates. First and foremost, click inside the text editor to start editing your text. You're going to notice it doesn't do the usual dance. It stays put. It stays exactly where I put it. So the text editor is truly a what you see is what you print format now. Secondly, when I go to click out, it hops me out of there as we're used to. Before, when I would hit escape, however, it would kind of cancel on my work and I would lose all the text edits I had. Now it's going to prompt me and ask me, do I want to keep my changes? Do I want to skip them? Or do I want to keep editing? If I hit cancel, I keep editing right in here. Another new feature we have is going to involve indentation and numbering. So if I highlight these lines, I can now come up here and click increase indent. And you'll notice now I've got numbers and I've got letters along here. But now that these are selected, I can change them to lowercase. I can change them back to bullets or I can change them to numbers. Let's switch them back to lowercase here. One thing we've wanted for a long, long time, however, is to put spacing inside of our numbering or bullet lists and have Revit maintain that spacing. We could always hit shift enter, hit shift enter. We've got some nice lines there, but as soon as we would close our text editor, Revit used to fill in those gaps. Now it knows those gaps are there and maintains these as numbers one, two, three, and it will keep going. So that shift enter finally works the way we expect that shift enter to work. Last but not least, once I'm inside my text editor, if I select all my text, I get a change case option up here. Clicking it once, it's going to turn it on to all caps. Clicking it again, it takes me back down to my original case. And notice it remembers the case of the letters before I went to all caps. We want to make sure it's all caps. So usually for our notes, so we're going to click on there, click close. And now I have a much better looking piece of text in my documentation. So the text editor got some major improvements. It's not like working in a word processor, but it is far superior than previous year's text editors and should save everyone a lot of headaches. The big issue now, of course, is what is going to top everyone's wish list.